Okay, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and this is question number four from the June October 2020 Pure, Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level Edexcel. And this question here is about circles, equations of circles. The points P and Q have coordinates minus 11, 6 and minus 3, 12, respectively. Given that PQ is a diameter of the circle C, you have to find the coordinates of the center of C and find the radius of C. Okay, so you have a circle. And I'm, you don't have to draw it, but I'm just going to draw it to illustrate. Um, so we have a circle. And it says P has coordinates minus 11, 6. And Q minus 3, 12. So say this is P and say this is Q on the other side of the circle that's the diameter okay so of course the diameter goes through the center so let's say that's P and Q okay, I, haven't, I mean it doesn't have to be accurate or anything you don't even have to draw it in fact I'm just drawing it for illustration purposes for us to be able to see what's going on okay so now um, let's get rid of this Okay, so we have P and Q in the center of the circle there. Okay, and it tells us that the P has coordinates minus 11, 6, and Q has coordinates minus 3 and 12, and it's the diameter. So we got to find the coordinates of the center. Let's call it O, the center of the circle. Okay, so now, um, to find the coordinates of the center, well, the, the center of the circle is the midpoint of the diameter. Okay, so we need to find the midpoint of the diameter, so the coordinates of the center of the circle are going to be, in fact, I shouldn't call it O because O probably means the origin. So, you know, we can call it anything. We don't even have to call it anything. So we can say the center of the circle is going to be the average of the x coordinates, which is minus 3 plus minus 11. You add them together and divide by 2. And the average of the y coordinates, which is going to be 12, plus 6 divided by 2. So you add the x coordinates together and divide by 2. Add them together and divide by 2 to find the center. So the center is going to be it's going to be minus 14 divided by 2 which is minus 7 and 18 divided by 2 which is 9. So that's the center of the circle and we need to find secondly the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle you can find it in different ways. You could find the uh, diameter the length of the diameter and divide by 2. Or we could use the center that we found, which is minus 7, 9, and just find the distance between that and one of these points. Now, the safest thing to do would be to use um, half the diameter. The reason being, um, supposing we made a mistake finding the center, then our answer for this part would also be wrong. So if we use the, um, the two points, P and Q, which are already given, we know those points are correct points, so we, you know, if we had make, made this mistake with the center, it won't carry over to the second part. So this is the first part, the center. The second part is the radius. Okay, so um, this is A part one and two. Okay, so now the radius is a half of the diameter. So I'm going to do minus 11 minus minus 3. I have to subtract them and I get to square that. Plus, and I'm going to have... Um, 6 minus 12 I've got to subtract them and square so this is like using Pythagoras so the difference between the x coordinates squared plus the difference between the y coordinates squared and find the square root of that that's a half times that's going to be the square root of that's minus 11 plus 3 which is minus 8 squared so it's minus 8 squared and you're going to have plus 6 minus 12 is minus 6, that's minus 6 squared. That's going to give you a half times the square root of, that's going to be 64 plus 36, which is 100. So it's going to be a half times 10, which is 5. So the radius is 5 units. Okay, so there's the answer to part 2 of A. So we know the coordinates of the center is minus, they're minus 7, 9, and the radius is 5 units. Okay, then it tells us to find, or hence find the equation 
of c. So we know that the equation of a circle is given by basically x minus the x coordinate of the center plus y squared minus y uh, plus y ta um, plus y minus the y coordinate of the center squared equals the radius squared. And we know that the center of the circle is basically as we just found um, minus seven nine. And the radius of the circle is equal to 5. So we can say we've got x minus minus 7 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals r squared, which is 25. So this gives you x plus 7 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals 25. And there we have the equation of the circle. Pretty straightforward question there. OK, we found the diameter. We found the coordinates of the center, then we found the diameter, therefore the radius, and then we found the equation of C. Okay, so that's um, part B, and I think that was the end of that question. No, part C as well, sorry. Okay, so part A and B are done. So we've got x plus 7 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals 25. So let me write that down here, we probably need it. So we have x plus 7 squared um, plus y minus 9 squared equals 25 yep and the radius of the circle was 5 and the radius is equal to 5 and the center of the circle is minus 7 and 9 okay and it says find an equation of the tangent to c to the circle c at the point q giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a b and c are integers to be found Okay, so now, the tangent to a circle is a line which touches the circle at the point where it's a tangent to it without actually cutting through the circle. So the tangent at Q will look something like this. It will just touch the circle at Q without passing through it. Okay, so that's what the tangent to Q at Q looks like. And the tangent to a circle will always be perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point at which is the tangent. Okay, so the point Q is minus 312, as we're told. Okay, um, so the point Q is minus 312. And we need to find the equation of the tangent. Now, the equation of the tangent, okay, is a straight line. Okay, the tangent is a straight line. So we need to find the gradient of the tangent and a point on the tangent. Well, we already know a point on the tangent is th minus 312. We have to find the gradient of the tangent. Now, the fact that the line which um, meets the tangent from um, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent will help us because the gradient of this line, which meets Q, is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. Okay, so... Let's let's just call this point um, R, the center of the circle. Okay, so if, if R is a center, is a center, then RQ is perpendicular to the tangent that we need. It's perpendicular to the gradient of the tangent. So basically, to find the gradient of the tangent, we need to find the gradient of RQ. Now, this is R, the center, okay, and this is Q minus 312. So the gradient of um, the line RQ is going to be the change in Y, which is 9 minus 12, over the change in X, which is minus 7 minus minus 3, which gives you 9 minus 12 is minus 3, over s minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. That's going to give you 3 quarters. So that's the gradient of the... Of the um, that's the gradient of the, the line RQ. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent is going to be perpendicular to this, so it's going to be minus 4 over 3. And it goes to the point Q, which we know is minus, 7, uh, minus 3, 12. So therefore, our equation of our tangent, we have to write it in this form here, where A, B, and C are integers, is Y minus Y1. So Y minus 12 equals M, which is minus 4 over 3 times x minus x1, which is x minus minus 3, which is x plus 3. So you have y minus 12 equals, that's 4 here, 
Um, what I'm going to do, in fact, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply everything by 3 first to get rid of the fraction. Just makes life a bit easier. So 3y minus 36 equals, that's going to be minus 4 times x, which is minus 4x. Remember, the 3 has been multiplied by 3, so you've got rid of the 3 now. So minus 4 times x, which is minus 4x, and minus 4 times 3, which is minus 12. And we want to bring everything onto one side. Let's bring the x onto this side. So you have 4x plus 3y. You've got minus 36 plus 12, which is minus 24, equals 0. So there is the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point q. And there we have the answer to part 4c. Okay, so that, that's how you deal with such questions. And this is the end of that question now. Um, this question was about circles. Other questions from this paper um, can be found in the playlist that should appear on this end screen over here. The end screen over here should give us um, the playlist or take us to the playlist for circles from P2. Um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this icon over here in the middle of the screen. And the top of the screen will take you to another P2 paper you might be interested in watching. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.